What's up, YouTube? Luke here, coming at you from beautiful, sunny Oregon. That's right. I said Oregon. Willamette Valley. It is currently upper 50s and sunny. Beautiful day. So, a couple reasons for the making this video. Two, uh, or the first reason is uh, I made one video, so I gotta make another, right? Um, so, besides the weather, it's a beautiful day because uh, my wife has given birth to our fifth baby, our second girl. And they're inside resting right now. We brought her home last night. Tannis Lily Summers. A beautiful little girl. Both her and mom are doing, are doing really well. So this is the first pipe I've had in a couple days. So I was really looking forward to this. This I'm smoking my uh, Briar Bird pipe. Cherry Wood, his Albatross line. Uh, the Albatross line is basically it's still the the hand carved briar, but it's with a uh, pre manufactured stem. And this stem is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that the color, but this thing is beautiful. It smokes like a dream. Smoking some uh, Dunhill early morning pipe. It's my bullet tamper. I got from Jay Breyer with uh, my state pipe I got from him. The reason I'm smoking my Breyer bird is because I want to talk about this a little bit today. Um, This, uh, this pipe I ordered from him, let's see, it would have been back in late January, or whatever, um, and it's an awesome pipe, absolutely beautiful, um, nice and lightweight, I love the shape, the plateau on top, um, but when I got it, the, it looked fine, there's nothing wrong with it that I could see, um, But after the first smoke, I noticed inside, and I would try to show you in the video, but it's pretty much impossible to see it. Um, I noticed some pretty deep pock marks inside the bowl. And I was afraid that maybe I'd smoked it too hot or something like that. Um, but regardless, I sent I sent some pictures to Jay from Briarbird, and. Uh, Dude, I don't know what's going on with this pipe. I love it. It's beautiful. It smokes great. Did I burn? Did I start a burnout on this thing by smoking it too hot? Um, is there something wrong with the briar? I knew it. He didn't. Um, I was sure he didn't. He didn't sell me a crappy pipe or anything like that. But um, I just wanted to know what was up with it and if I needed to be worried if I could smoke it again because I'm still a pretty novice pipe smoker. Um, so I sent him pictures, I took a little video of it. There's some deep pockmarked, like burn um, marks all around, like charred wood. And so I sent it to him and uh, he uh, messaged me right back. Um, and uh, turns out there's a flaw in the briar. Is that it's probably the third time in 300 pipes that it's happened. Where you can't tell it until you until you smoke it for the first time, um, and so um, he's building me a new pipe for free. Um, and 
I'm really excited about. It. I mean, that's 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 what you want from from a business that even though it's not his fault that the uh, the briar had a flaw in it that he couldn't see or whatever, um, he didn't chalk it up to well. Sorry, not much I can do about it. I can give you a discount on a new pipe or or whatever, but no, he's building me a brand new pipe and I get to keep this one, which is awesome. And uh, so I just wanted to give a shout out to him, his pipes. Now, why am I smoking a pipe that's got a flaw in it like that, you ask? Well, because he told me to. Um, the only two other times that it's happened he didn't get to see the pipe. He just made the guy's new pipes and sent them to him. But so he asked me to smoke about five bowls. This is the fifth bowl. Before I sent it to him so he could take a look at it and, and actually see it in person. Um, and then so I'll be sending this off to, to you, Jay, probably today or tomorrow. But so make it out of the house, get to the post office. take a look at it and then once he gets it takes a look at it he'll uh, send me it back with the brand new pipe which I'm super excited about I think smoke's phenomenal it's comfortable I love the way it feels in the hand it just kind of shapes to my hand um, sits up nice Beautiful pipe, absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, if you're in the market for a new pipe, uh, his Albatross line, he does do um, hand carved stems and stuff too, but for his Albatross line, he can't beat the price. They're totally affordable, and I got no problems with the stem. The stem, it's absolutely beautiful. I wanted a green stem, but this one is, See if I can get a good shot of it. It's kind of hard to see. You can kind of see the flecks of green in it, but it's marbling. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, so I couldn't be more happy with it. I think this one has yeah, under $150 with shipping, and it's awesome. So yeah, I'm just going to sit out here and relax, enjoy the sun before I head back in and take care of my family. I um, want to give a, a quick quick shout out here besides the briar bird um, to uh, the Beardless Piper on YouTube. We both did our, uh, our intros as a video responses to the Dagner Pipes giveaway. Seems like a real cool guy, awesome guy, awesome video. He's done two videos already and uh, watched them both. They're great. You can check them out on uh, Instagram. It's Delro91, D-E-L-R-O-91. Got some awesome pipes. Fellow brother in arms, I'm Marine Corps, I'm Army, but he's Marines. I worked with lots of Marines overseas. Appreciate what you do, brother. Enjoy your videos and uh, stalking you on Instagram. That kind of brings me to my next thought. If uh, um, my Instagram is tobacco pipes and stuff, and then obviously if you're watching this video, you found me on YouTube. But if you're in the military or are a veteran, retired, whatever, let me know. I want to see who my brothers and sisters are from the military that are smoking pipes. Maybe take a shot of you in, in uniform with your pipe. A drill out at training or whatever. I know there's a lot of cigarette smokers, there's a lot of 
dippers and chewers. Never met a snuffer. And I've never met a, another pipe smoker in, uh, in person in military. So it might be kind of cool. Man, thing smokes great. Really a big fan of the Dunhill English blends. Early morning pipe, nightcap. Talking to my buddy the other day. Well, we talk pipes all the time. His Instagram handle is Oregon Stater Duck Hater. Go check him out. He doesn't post a lot of pictures. You need to post more pictures, Aaron. But uh, we're talking about because he, tr he tried Mississippi River. That was his first uh, blend with Latakia in it, and he loves it. Of course, now we're both waiting for tobacco pipes and stuff to get restocked. About another two to four weeks, I guess they said. So, let me see. But I was telling them that something about the English blend, it just feels right being from the Northwest to smoke something that has that smoky flavor. A campfire smell. This feels right, you know? Anyways. Man, I can really talk. Long-winded, I guess. So, I'm going to get going here, but uh, I'm going to do a couple more videos. I don't know if I'll get to them today or not. Um, one, we've all seen Yabos. I'm going to do what I'm calling... A yabs. Yet another box stuffing. I'm sending out some uh, tobacco to uh, Jason and Elaine and Jay, the Dagners. And uh, so I'll do a quick video on that. I figure no one does the box stuffing videos. At least I haven't seen them. If you uh, if you have, put them in comp. Put a comment down below. I'll go check it out. But. We can talk a little bit about the tobaccos. I'm going to send them to try from a local shop out in Oregon City called House of Calabash by master tobacconist Stephen Brooks. Some phenomenal, all natural, no artificial flavors or casings or anything like that tobaccos. So I figured send some to the Dagners and see what they think. Um, but yes, I'll be doing that, and then I'm going to do one on my pipe collection. Pretty meager collection. However, I did just purchase one more pipe. It was um, my wife's idea. Well, my wife's idea to get me something in honor of our new daughter being born. And apparently, she thinks I did an awesome job. I wasn't the one pushing out a baby with no drugs and um, at 33 years old the fifth baby but apparently um, me being there to hold her hand was a pretty big deal so um, she wanted to do something nice for me so she uh, asked me what I wanted and I told her well the Dagner Bulldog Rhodesian Bulldog the black one there's only five left um, can I get one of those she's like sure that's what you want babe so I ordered one last night Jason uh, shipped it out this morning. Man, those guys are fast. And apparently I got the last one, so I'm pretty stoked. So we'll be looking for a yabo of that here in a few days for sure. Add that to my collection. But anyways, getting close to 15-minute mark. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe if you, if you want. Like if you want. If you liked it, if you didn't like it. I guess you can do the thumbs down thing. I'm not going to get offended by it. But hope you enjoy uh, enjoyed the video and maybe some more videos. And uh, if you subscribe to me and I can see, some people I can't see their subscription names. It's like blocked or something. But if you subscribe to me and I can see it, I'll subscribe back to you. Coming up in 15 minutes. So 
Talk to you guys later.